Here's a quick bonus tip on how to make these type of vines without having to use the 3D modeling tools. So even if you just have the basic software, I'll show you a quick modeling tip for doing these type of things. I'm going to start a new project and I'm going to make the board size pretty large. Whenever you're doing any kind of pattern making or, or 3D model making, you want to do it at a pretty large size because the resolution, uh, you want to have as much resolution when you start as possible. That way if you scale it down it's going to look more detailed and, and vice versa. So uh, 24 by 12 seems like a pretty good size. And I can just use the standard drawing tools if I want to. The uh, arc or the the spline tools here that come in uh, Designer Basic and then just use the the control points to help get this spline shape developed here. You can draw some other shapes here like um, a lot of times if you see on vines you'll see these kind of curly Q pieces that are coming off of it and while you're doing this you might as well build yourself a a library of them so make several of uh, various different shapes and then you can always go in and refine your curves with these blue control points so whenever you're drawing uh, the drawing part isn't necessarily what's important uh, when you want something to look good it's it's the after editing part where you come in and, and you make all these little adjustments that really determine when when things look precise and good so don't worry about when you're drawing initially that you're trying that you're getting everything exactly precise the way that you want it. Just get your points down and your shape roughed in and then go and make your adjustments. Okay. So these these shapes look pretty pretty good. We'll go ahead and stick with them. They're definitely organic looking. So we're going to select these and we're going to make them a little larger as well. Start with this one. And I'm going to use this tool called Select Depth Profile. And this is a tool that's in the basic software and allows you to do these nice shallow to deep bit profiles that you can do with your with your v-bits or your bullnose bits. So these are very useful for doing uh, a lot of chip carving and v-carving type features. So I'm going to select this one which starts off thick and then gradually gets down to thin which is kind of what like a stem or a vine is going to do. And then you'll click OK and then you'll see it's a pretty good long vine like shape. I can take this now under my carving list and I can select that shape and put it in a group. Now we covered make pattern in the basics tutorials and make pattern can be applied to even something like this. So I can take this pattern and make sure I have to put it in the group to be able to make a pattern. Make that icon show up. Click on the, the group here. Click on make pattern. And then I can go and save it into my pattern favorites. We'll call this one Thin Stem 2. And I'll click save. We'll open the pattern library and go look at that. There's Thin, thin Stem 2. And we click on there. Now it's it's a pattern. But you can see because this pattern was routed into the wood, it's still got that shape here and then now it's got a feather on it like all patterns do when you first put them on the board. But I can invert this and now I've just got this nice rounded 
stem shape that is a pattern. I can also take that pattern, put it into a group, and then save it as my thin stem 2 again. So now when I apply that thin stem 2 to the board, I don't have to invert it. It's already automatically the way I want it to be. So let's do the same with these. Let's make them larger. Apply that same one. We're going to set the depth at an eighth of an inch because we don't want these too thick. We want them to be vine like. And we can remove these other pieces out of the way. And once you see the route on there, sometimes you'll want to make some adjustments. But that looks pretty good. Again, we'll take that and I can just put it into one of these empty groups and make pattern find curl 2 we'll do this one and put that one in this group call it vine curl 3 and I can quickly build a whole set of these elements that then I can go and build whatever kind of vine that I want to I'll put these on the board invert them so now they have the right curve shape and then I can make them back into patterns again and overwrite the other versions of them so that way next time when I go to place them on the board they're all ready to go All right, and that's how you build vines very quickly with even the basic level software.